Hi, this is Donna from the Bullock County campus, and we're here today with Chris Brewer to talk about his hot idea, how to turn any flat surface into an interactive whiteboard. Chris is a longtime member of the Bullock County faculty. He's taught with us for several years, and he's used his awesome MacGyver skills to build an infrared pen and to connect Bluetooth devices, some shareware software, and a Wii remote into an interactive, interactive surface. Chris, can you give us some more details? Okay, to make this work, you're going to need four things. Uh, one is the smoothboard software, which you can download on the internet. It's uh, shareware, so um, you get that for nothing. Uh, second thing is a Wii, Wii remote, which is just a remote that comes with a Microsoft, I'm sorry, Nintendo Wii. Um, a Bluetooth adapter, we found at uh, Best Buy. And then an infrared pen, which you're going to have to construct by yourself. So, these are the four things. This is the Bluetooth adapter. It's just a little dongle that's going to plug into the USB port on your computer. Uh, this is a Wiimote, Wii Remote for a Nintendo Wii. And on the back of it, I've got two magnets. Uh, the two magnets are going to allow me to uh, mount it onto a mount that I've put on our projector at the back of the room. And this is going to allow me to pop this thing up there and the orientation should remain constant. So there's going to be a very little calibration that's going to need to be done. And the final thing is a infrared pin. This is battery operated. Um, I'll have a list about how to, what are the items that you'll need and uh, how to build one. Uh, this is infrared, so you can't see it when you push the button. But again, if I point it at the camera, you should be able to see it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pair the Wiimote with the computer. So I plug the Bluetooth adapter into the computer. Eventually the software is going to kick off. And the device is ready to use. So I'm just going to click on the Bluetooth device and add a device. And then I should just be able to rapidly pass the one and the two on the Wii remote, and the device will come up. And it'll let's see. It. So then I just click on it and then hit next. And it'll ask me if I want to pair. I want to pair without using a code because I don't have one. And eventually it's ready to go. Click the close now, and then I can mount my Wiimote onto my mount back here. Okay, so now that that's done, I can start the software. And again, this is just a smooth board software. And it will come up, and it's going to start communicating with the, with the we mold at the back, but the first thing I've got to do is do a calibration. So there's a button on the white uh, smoothboard software that does a quick calibration. So I have to use the mouse for this one because I haven't got my calibration done yet. It brings in these little targets. There'll be one on each of the four corners. And just using the infrared pin, you just click on, click it over top of those four targets. And now you're ready to go. So this is just, this, you can use this like as a mouse. Just click the, the, the button on the infrared pin, and it's going to act, act as a mouse click. So I click on the start button if I want to open up Word. And click on all programs, Microsoft Office, and then Microsoft Word. So this is just button just acts like a mouse click. And so then I can do, just like if I want to open up the insert tab, Click on any of the things on the screen, and it's going to act like a mouse click. There's also this uh, software that comes with it, with the, with the smooth board that allows me to, instead of having a mouse click or a cursor, I can turn it into something where I can draw on it. So I can click on color and make things like blue and turn it into a pen, and then my mouse becomes. And just holding the mouse button down and drawing. So 
I was going to have a PowerPoint presentation. I could, I could mark it up. First off, I have to get back to a cursor. PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to erase this. So, Chris, if you wanted to annotate uh, your notes that you've already had a prepared lecture and you want to annotate those notes you could actually bring your PowerPoint or whatever uh, application you were using and then annotate those notes on the screen? Yes. Can so, you show us that? Like here's, this is just a PowerPoint slide that I have open. Uh, again, the mouse is going to act like, or the, the, the infrared pen is going to act like a mouse click. So if, like, if I wanted to, like, so suppose I wanted to do some annotation on it, I could turn, again, I'm going to turn my infrared pen into a pen. I can pick whatever color that I want. So now if I wanted to underline the word windows, or if I wanted to highlight, I could highlight things however I wanted to. And if I wanted to take it back to my cursor, let's pick on that. If I want to erase these colors that I did, there's an erase button. And that will eventually erase all of the stuff. You can choose like a different size of a pen if you wanted to. So I want to make a really big fat line. I want to draw a shape. I'm going to draw a shape. So again, this is just a sort of like a smart board, but cheaper. Cheaper? Uh, how? What would you say the cost to build the brew pen and the Bluetooth device the uh, Wii Remote, what, what, give us an idea about what the cost for your items would be, Chris. Uh, I think the, the, the cost for this, if you already have a soldering iron, just the parts alone probably cost about 20 bucks. Um, all of these things can be found at Radio Shack, except for the, uh, this is just, this pin itself is a, just a uh, dry erase pin that I got at uh, Office Depot and just I took the guts out of it. Um, the Bluetooth adapter I got at Best Buy for only 16 bucks, and the Wii Remote was uh, donated by you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if you were going to purchase that, they run in the range of around $20. 20, 20 to 30 bucks. So you could say that for less than $60, you can turn your already projector system, you can turn it into a projector with your Wii Remote mounted, and directed down towards your screen, and you could turn that into uh, an interactive surface. And right. if I'm understanding this correctly, Chris, you can also have these pointed at anything. You could have it pointed at a desktop and have a piece of paper on it that right. you're using. Anything, anything that your that your mouse or that your projector is pointed at, you can use any flat surface. Uh, you just got to calibrate it. So like a pull-down screen, anything, anything yes. and you don't actually touch the surface. No. You're actually just pointing the infrared pen device, yes. or, or as I like to call it, the brew pen, yes. uh, at the, the general area, and that activates it with a button click. Yeah, you're going to pretend you're going to pretend that the end of this pen is uh, your mouse cursor. And so wherever you, wherever you point your mouse cursor, just pretend like the end of this pen is the mouse cursor and click. And, click and click show click. us that, just if you could hold it a little bit uh, more horizontally pointed towards the other direction so we can see. I'm just going to do a close-up on what that is. And you just uh, you just depress that black button. Yes. And that, that activates the infrared. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Chris, thank you so much for your hot idea. We really appreciate you working with us and teaching with us at the Bullitt County Campus. And uh, you're always filled with hot ideas. Thanks, Chris. See ya.